What's up guys, it's me, Lazy Llama. I am going to be doing a battle pass review, but I've obviously played. I've already gotten to level 38 with my new personal favorite pickaxe that really matches my skin. Anyway, so it's not my first, but I will go over it with you guys. Agent Jones. The first style I really do not like. It is like it's okay, I enjoy it, but there are so many better styles for him. If you upgrade him, you can actually see how amazing it is. I honestly love the skin, but the first version is not the best. But I can live with it. I enjoy it still. Anyway, these extra parts, like banners, sprays, V-Bugs, emoticons, I'll skip. Maybe a loading screen I'll add in, but I'm not sure. The clean sweep. I love this emote. So far I've only gotten two wins in the season, and I haven't used it once for any of the wins. I am one of the dumbest people. No wait, I think it was three wins. I don't know. The countdown to zero. I like it. But this is also the little background image for the entire season. This is what it is. So I'm not sure why this is it, and not a battle pass image. For the past, like, what is it now? Six seasons, it's been a battle pass image showing all the battle pass skins and something to do with the season. So I'm not sure why they're going with the custom art. It's kind of confusing, but either way, I do not care. It is an amazing custom art. The Survivor's Pack, part of the Lara Croft set, which we'll get to soon. I'm using this as my back bling, even though it's not my personal permanent back bling. I'm using it for the season, because it's a primal season, why not? Jonesy's Field Pack. I l don't like the first look. I don't like any of the looks actually. You'll see what I mean soon. Lara Croft. I prefer Lara Croft in this skin than the second skin that I'm going to show you later on. It just reminds me more of a Tomb Raider feel. The Pryax. The metal makes me think of anime. I'm not sure why. Can you guys see it? Like in the reflection? But then when you turn it, it doesn't- oh, it's so confusing. My favorite emote of this entire season. I am mind blown. I can't believe they added that. I'm so hyped. The salvage shoot. I don't like this. It's got holes, which I guess is used for the style, right? But when you move to the left or to the right, your parachute will completely lean to the side. That isn't what a parachute is meant to do, so I don't like how they, like, planned this glider and how it functions. Anyway, Lara Croft 25th Anniversary. Like I was saying, this doesn't remind me of the Tomb Raider. It reminds me of Lara Croft, not the Tomb Raider. That's why I prefer the first skin, because I pr like the Tomb Raider, you know? Tyranna's Wrap. Tyranna's harvesting tool which is chainsaw and I hate the sound of this pickaxe it's like a roar with a for the chainsaw you know what I'm saying and it looks sick though now back to the spec thing An extra style the rift gun is a little more destabilized there's a poncho there's a sheriff badge and these are all things from last season battle pass skins Tarana worst skin in the battle pass I'm telling you right now I really, really dislike this skin. I don't understand it. I mean, I understand it, but I don't like it, you know? The Bone Patrol. It makes an awful noise when you deploy it. I hate it. But I do like that there's an engine part there, and the, that represents the mechanical part of the game with the weapons, and then the bones for the primal. Cardistry. It looks sick from the front. Sadly, we only look at the back. But I will love using this a lot. Dino Deck. It's a skateboard with a skull and a back bling. That's part of another back bling. So I don't really like this. Just have a normal skateboard, right? Dino Feather. Worst, worst contrail, I'm telling you right now. You can't see anything through those massive feathers. Tarana. Extra style, better than the first style. But it's still bad I don't like it. it it's it's not good you know 
the crystal axe of masters as i said at the beginning this is my personal um permanent pickaxe acolyte's curse we have officially passed level 38 where i stopped this is going to be my personal um wrap i just love it it really suits my pinky purpley theme of my llama look at this raz looks epic i don't it looks like an anime film but i even though i don't like anime i love that the Soaring Cypher. I don't like it as much as any other gliders because it's basically the default glider. But it's got the cool Egyptian scribe look with the symbols like hieroglyphics. But the hieroglyphics are Kevin the Cube hieroglyphics. Which is a hint. <coughs> Fortnite. Give us something. And the Endless Scroll I love so much. I don't know how this works and how it's reactive. But I am going to find out the second I get this into my hands the Jones field pack jump 31 there's a shoe that's literally it the, also maybe the uh, portal is destabilized I can't really notice but something else has happened right here a new skin my second favorite skin in the battle pass rads legendary and apparently he's got a second look where he's like covered with zero points NG. The dream stance. Sadly it's built in so I can't use it with my llama skin or any other skin in the game but it's traversal. What more can Fortnite give to us with this skin? The warp wave. I don't like. The hatch pack doesn't look good on any skin I'm telling you right now. It will only look good on Cluck. I am almost 100% certain. Anyway. The glider, Egar, Egger, Eggster. It's a very funny glider. I, I think that if you're going for a funky theme through your Fortnite career, try and get this bat bling. Not bat bling. Sorry, glider. Now a different color scheme has come to the bat bling. Now you can definitely see that it, everything is destabilizing in the portal gun, and there's a ribbon underneath. Cluck. I love the skin, it's the meme skin of the season, for sure. Boots and Cats, an emote that I think I'll use a lot, I'm not sure. I'm not a um, very rappy person or like a beatboxy person. Drummies, cannibalism is in the game. A chicken using a chicken's legs to whack things. Clucking Mad is the rap and it's apparently animated or reactive i don't remember hatchpack slurpee i don't like it it makes me feel like i'm gonna be sick but the slurpee cluck is amazing he looks like a military chicken right so why does he have eggs like eggshell as his armor that's why he should have this the metal the daughter of trigon is an amazing spray i'm sorry i just had to show you that soaring soul self is my new permanent personal glider that I'm going to be using. Zero point is very cool, but not as cool as Raz, sorry. Jonesy's Field Pack Jump 88, the final version, my personal favorite. I love this one, it's amazing. All of the Battle Pass skins have something on there, except I think Lexa, Maeve, okay, so not everyone. Uh, Mandalorian, and some other people. Rebirth Raven. I love this skin. This skin is amazing. I love the cape. I love the hood. The hair. I love the entire outfit. Actual form was the pickaxe I was going to use for my own permanent personal glider. I mean, pickaxe, sorry. Um, but I decided not to do that. Raven's Wrath, amazing. I love it. Dimensional Gate. It's very cool. I love that you get that, like, thin 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 layer but the gap in between the, s the skin and the back bling is too much Azeroth Metreon Xenthos yes I'm smart I'm a witch I love it um, that's gonna be my primary emote I use classic raven it's not the classic raven but it is a s like a different version of the classic raven if you know what I'm saying now for the second worst skin in the battle pass, the tier 100 skin. Of course you don't have to hate these, 
I hate them. The rap looks like a tree. And this, this is creepy. There's freaking hands on it. Look at this. There's hands on it again. And they move. It's disgusting. It looks like a fucking beetle. But I have to admit, Conduit Crasher is looking fine. You know, when I had when I first got the battle pass, I was thinking this looks fine. But only now I noticed. Look at the tip. It moves like a beetle or a cockroach. And now for the beetle cockroach woman who looks like a tree with a massive scar in her chest that looks like an interdimensional portal and she's got hands on her back again. More hands. Now, I want you to answer me this question. Do you recognize that face? I'm pretty sure you do. In Chapter 2 Season 4, um, they released the Ghostbusters series. She is a placeholder skin used in those series, Ghostbusters series. When they added Ghostbusters to a Fortnite skin, they used the placeholder skins. The Tron skins, she was one of them. The official Fortnite Pele Cup skins, she was a one of those skins because she's a placeholder skin. She isn't an actual character, so they use a placeholder skin inside the battle pass. I don't understand this because the placeholder skins are used for series like Ghostbusters as many different looks but one suit so you can just do that. It's so confusing. La no wait sorry the beanbag. My bad. That is my brother's face. He's Lebanana. Search him on YouTube. Please subscribe to him and me. The classic Lara Croft. Just because this has so little detail might actually make this the most detailed skin in the game. It's like a PlayStation 1 version of Lara Croft. It's amazing. I love this version. It's like detailed and not detailed. Again, Tirana, the indigo version. The color scheme's different. It's not the best. But I still don't like Tirana. The skin and the concept, it suits the season, but it doesn't suit me. Explosive Cluck! Let's go! He looks like a real badass. I am not lying right now. Look at him. He looks like a military man with scars all over his eyes, his neck, his armor, his chest, everywhere. He looks like he's ready for war, especially because even the original one had those military dog chains. Rachel Ruff, not the best, but it's something, right? At least it's another version for Raven, even if it's not the best one for her. The Neymar Jr. Rewards. Neymar Jr. is coming to the game. It has been confirmed by Fortnite. Neymar Jr. is the secret skin of the Battle Pass, which is kind of sad. I was hoping that the Foundation, aka the new Foundation member, would be the new Seven. I mean, the new secret skin, sorry. Anyway, now that we've swept the entire Battle Pass off of my checklist, we can now relax. I said relax. Okay. See you guys next time.